So it's uh, Alex Howard for O'Reilly Media here in the FCC's Developing Tech Lab uh, with Steve Van Rokel, uh, Managing Director here at the FCC. And uh, I was wondering if you could tell me a bit more about uh, the new guiding principles that the relaunch of FCC.gov will be built upon. Well, our, our goal with FCC.gov is to really bring uh, a dot-com mentality to .gov and, and really build a new site around some core principles. One is a, a more consumer-centric design um, and, and base a lot of the design on um, great communications using new media, Web 2.0 tools, and, and others. Uh, great participation, allowing citizens to really get involved in the work of the commission. We've seen little bits of that from the FCC. We're going to expand that broadly. And, and the third is around data and making data um, accessible by people uh, machine readable and, uh, and programmable. And in the sense that it's a platform for people to develop on top of, how are you enabling developers to work with the data the FCC produces? Well, we, uh, we're going to give a, a little tip of the iceberg um, at Gov 2.0 and, uh, and go much beyond this, but we're going to take as much data as we can and as rapidly as we can and start converting that data uh, into web services. Um, and so uh, we'll create a set of APIs that uh, developers and, and, uh, and other citizens can get access to and start writing apps against and, um, and uh, probably as importantly we'll be basing a lot of what we do uh, on those web services. So we're building them for us, we're going to utilize them and we're going to make those available to everybody. So uh, from the perspective of dog fooding, something you're familiar with from your background at Microsoft, uh, what are some of the applications that you think you might create? I think the, uh, the first one um, we've uh, about six months ago or so, we launched a broadband speed test um, that allowed people on a mobile device or on a home computer or a mobile computer to test their broadband speed, both wired, wireless, um, and over, say, a cellular network. And uh, one of the pieces of data we're releasing here at the uh, Gov2.0 conference is the results of that. We had over, over, over a million people take those speed tests. Um, and we're going to allow people to go in and see for uh, a given geographic area down to, um, uh, down to the county level, you know, what was the, uh, the average speeds, how many tests were taken in that area, um, upload, download speed, all of those in between as, as just an early example of some of the things we're doing. And uh, from a broad perspective, how does releasing um, open data from government uh, feed into open government? I think it, uh, doing open data will give citizens, the industry, and others a set of decision-making tools that, um, you know, we have a wealth of data locked up in this commission, and um, giving people access to that information in a way that can better inform them on the direction, not only the direction we're heading, but inform them on the industry, on uh, what, what other citizens are seeing, et cetera, will create a dynamic of, of really, um, of, you know, sort of fostering a more open dialogue with both the government and the industry that, that relates to citizens. Okay. Well, thank you for the questions. I look forward to seeing you speak at Summit next week. Thank you. Take care.